Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness comes out in a little over two months. Here are some pieces of MCU content that you need to watch before you watch that. The first one should be a no-brainer. It's a Doctor Strange sequel. You should watch Doctor Strange before you watch it. Next is Infinity War. This movie, along with Endgame, I don't feel are completely necessary in order to watch Multiverse of Madness. But they both give you both Doctor Strange and Wanda in action. And Endgame in particular does bring in the ideas of multiple timelines, and gives you an idea on the blip and how it affects everyone. Next one should also be obvious, WandaVision. We follow up Wanda after the events of this show in particular. So if you want to see why she could possibly go absolutely nuts in the movie, definitely get WandaVision. You probably don't have to watch Age of Ultron and Civil War as well, but you can, I don't know, just to have more of Wanda or whatever. But something you definitely need to watch is What If. So many people looked at this show and be like, Oh, it's animated. Oh, it's an anthology show. I don't need to watch this. And then the Multiverse of Madness trailers drop, and three episodes of this show seem to be tying into the movie. So I would recommend watching episodes 1, 4, and 5 before Multiverse of Madness. But it also doesn't hurt to watch the entire show, because What If it's a pretty good show. And finally, Spider-Man No Way Home. Not only do you get a really good grasp of the multiverse, but you also get a really good grasp of variants. And judging by the trailers, it looks like Doctor Strange will be facing the consequences for what he did in this movie. Also judging by the trailers, Patrick Stewart is coming back as Charles Xavier. Now, just because he's in the movie, I don't think you have to watch all of the X-Men and Deadpool and Wolverine movies. Because as of now, we don't know if Stewart is playing the exact same Charles from the X-Men movie, or this is Ralph Boner 2.0. But if you really, really want to, you can watch X-Men, X2, X-Men The Last Stand, Days of Future Past, and Logan, because those are all the ones with Patrick Stewart. And maybe Deadpool 1 and 2, because fingers crossed Deadpool shows up in the movie. And that's everything you might need to know in order to watch Multiverse of Madness. How excited are you for Multiverse of Madness, and who do you think will show up?